w when a fish follows the bait down to the bottom, number one question I get asked, do you leave it sit there? Is that fish going to bite it? Is he going to come back and bite it? Do you reel it up, try and throw at it again? Um, now we'll kind of jump to the St. Lawrence. Fishing techniques. How do you work the drop shot? How do you uh, drag the drop shot? How do you throw the drop shot? How do you, you know, everything above. So basically, my go around, now this is exclusively fishing for smallmouth, so basically we're just going to talk about that right now, and then maybe we'll go into largemouth in a little bit. Fishing for smallmouth with a drop shot, I do not let the bait sit very long, maybe 10 seconds at max once it hits the bottom. When it hits the bottom and I see a fish follow it down to the bottom, I hold it there for a second. I'll maybe give it a couple of shakes. I'm sure you guys see all the Japanese guys nowadays. You know, they sit there and shake it for three minutes. That's not me. I can't sit there for five minutes in one cast. And, you know, I constantly have to be looking, seeing what's around me and things like that. So I let it go to the bottom, let it sit there. Okay, you let it sit there for max 10 seconds. What I'll do, instead of reeling it into the boat right away and making another cast, I'll reel it in as fast as I can, like 15 yards, and then I'll open up my bail again. You're bas basically what that's doing is you're doing another cast. If you think about it, if, if you're going to cast in the same, say you're going to cast in the same direction right at this camera I'm looking at. So you cast in that same direction, okay, you're going to reel your bait in to make another cast but you're just going to come up short. You're going to come up short to where you just landed, so you are making another cast. What I'm doing is basically just reeling my drop shot in, opening my bail instantly, and I've made, I can make three, four, five casts in one cast, if that makes sense. So instead of reeling it all the way up, wasting that, you know, whatever that is, 10, 15, 20 seconds, reeling it up, trying to fire it back out there, letting it sink all the way to the bottom, you're already halfway down to the bottom when you reel it up, 20 yards and then you let it fall back down to the bottom you're on a whole new you know you went from these hats to this microphone that's you know could be a big boulder or you could you know that could have been pea gravel over there or whatever it was um, you went to a whole new structure you went to a whole new area of fish essentially you went to a whole new place where that fish hasn't seen the bait yet um, that's it's it's a little technique that it works when it's effective and it works really well when you're around large groups of fish which i was around an exceptionally large group of smallmouth on the saint lawrence um, and they basically had to see that when they saw that bait falling from the surface constantly like bang bang it's almost like missiles going down in the water on top of them just three ace ounce drop shot weights just boom 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 when you can keep that bait in the water it's so much more natural. I mean, think about it. A fish doesn't want to constantly see a giant weight getting plopped on their head constantly from the surface. Um, some of these fish were way up in the water column. Like, I'd see them on my live scope, they'd be six feet under the surface and 20 feet of water. I mean, think about that. A fish sees that bait hit the water four or five times, he's going to start thinking, like, what's going on here? This isn't really normal. This isn't what I've I don't really like this, and he's going to sink to the bottom. Well, when that fish sinks to the bottom, and you do the four, you know, four casts essentially in one cast, you're covering so much more water. And uh, efficiently with a drop shot, aside from the FG knot tip that I gave you, if you guys can take that tip and use it to your advantage uh, the next time you're on the water. And, and that, that goes, I mean, it doesn't always go for smallmouth. It goes for largemouth, too. 